here is the Novo T480S. Well, what you're going to need here is your plastic spudger pick and a Phillips head screwdriver. Nothing too crazy, it's easy to take apart. Alright, we're going to take it back. What do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six screws. Very simple. So there are no screws in the front, so you'll probably want to bring it up from the rear of the unit. Obviously, it's going to be clipped up here. Something is going to have to secure the front of it. So we're going to start in the back. Let's try the pick. There we go. Pick is your friend. The best tool ever. I like how you do that one. Yeah. And what you got here is your latches in the front. So obviously that's going to seat in the front make sure you get those when you put it back together. Alright, it's pretty simple here. We have the WLAN slot over here, or WAN slot over here. That's going to be for wireless stuff. You know, go to Verizon, go to AT&T, get your card for that. Your M.2 Wi-Fi, the single DDR4 slot here, SO DIM. And over here you have your, is this an NVMe? Sure is. So NVMe M.2 2280 slot. And of course your battery, nothing crazy. Let's take this part. Obviously your memory is always going to be simple. Same thing on pretty much everything. This little plastic shroud out of the way here. And then there's just going to be these two little tabbies here. Easy enough. Make sure you put it back in on that 45 to 30 degree angle. Should seat nice and nice. Clip it down. Easy. You have your M.2 slot here. This is always super simple. It's really just one screw. Depending on the unit, it's either going to pop up or it's going to lie flat. And this, it actually looks like, oh, they've got a little heat pad under here. It's good. These things get crazy hot. Thermal pads are always welcome. Also have, of course, your Wi-Fi. Everyone complains about Wi-Fi leads, and they're right too, because they're terrible. Working with these things is always awful. You're just going to have to deal. It's probably going to be pretty frustrating to probably put them back on, unless you do it all the time, like I do, in which case it's pretty much second nature. Not a bad little Wi-Fi card, though. Should do just fine. 8265 Intel, going to have Bluetooth and all that good jazz. And here comes the fun part. Putting everything back on, super annoying. Here I was saying I could do this, no problem. Here I am struggling. It's most important that you get these lined up as close as possible before you try to clip them down. If you don't, jack up your connection. And then it'll never be fun. It's going to be a real pain after you do that. Obviously you have your extra antennas over here if that wasn't seen before. So this is going to go into your WAN card and give you that cell reception that you're looking for. Alright, I'm going to take this battery out. One, two. Do we need to take out these speakers? Unknown, I guess we'll find out. Doesn't look like it though. another one of those connections that we always like to see. Easier to pop up. You don't really have to worry about damaging anything. That's always good. Nothing crazy here. It looks like you just have these two stab, these two tabs here that I actually see here and here. Right where the trackpad is. Your trackpad here. Uh, SD card slot. CMOS battery. Just once upon a time something. No longer something on this model. Fingerprint reader. Easy to install. Make sure you get those clips. Install again, you don't need to worry about these connections. They're always solid. Some of them are just a bunch of wires, and those can be a pain. And that's pretty much the inside of this. Nothing too crazy after that. Again, you gotta remember that we have these. We need to seat in the front. Line it up and drop it down in. Make your way around. I like to do the cutty corner. 
units like this in particular, trying to keep the even pressure. Does it really make a difference? Honestly, I don't know. It's just what I do. It makes me feel good. And that's for the eye. And I want to check and make sure everything is nice and seated. No gaps, no gaps. No gaps, and we're good to go. That's the unit. Lenovo 2480S.